Dynamical systems is the mathematics of behavior. It involves the classification of how a system evolves or changes over time. Now, what does that mean? What does that involve? Well, let's look at a few examples. Maybe the dynamical system that you're interested in is something mechanical, like a pendulum or several pendula that you pull up, you let go, maybe you give it a push, and you see how it evolves over time. These pendula swing back and forth. But with what period, at what rate? Is there any kind of friction involved? How does it depend on the initial conditions? These are all questions of dynamical systems. Now, that, of course, is not the only system we're interested in. There are so many different interesting examples, many coming from mechanical systems, from physics, everything from bouncing balls to spinning things around to looking at what happens when you take a collection of objects and you connect them together, either by springs or by magnets or by different mechanical couplings. That, of course, is not all. There are all kinds of systems out there, some of which are very, very small, some of which are very, very large, almost galactic in scale. Now, those are just a few of the examples that we're going to look at. What is it that we really want to know about a particular dynamical system? What is it that we want to be able to do? Well, everybody wants to be able to predict the future. So we want to be able to predict what a dynamical system is going to do if you start it at some initial condition, give it some sort of kick, and then let it go. What is going to happen in the future? But that's not all. We're also going to be interested in how to model a given system. If we have a particular system coming from physics, coming from other settings, and we want to be able to write down a set of equations that is going to be analyzable, something that we can use to predict the future. That is called modeling, and that will also be of interest to us. But of course, absolutely, the thing that we really want to be able to know how to do is how to think properly at a systems level by noticing patterns, underlying principles within different dynamical systems, we want to change the way that we think when we look at the world around us. There is so much to learn in order to understand dynamics. A lot of our initial motivations are going to come from various mechanical systems, things that we've seen simple examples of. However, we're also going to be interested in other kinds of systems as well. Dynamical systems has applications to economic systems, biological systems, social systems, so many different things. But first, before we get to any of that, we have a lot of work to do to outline what we're going to be covering and then to dig into the mathematical tools that we'll be using.